Hello friends, in the last session we saw the docker file expose instruction. Now friends, in this session let us see another important docker file instruction which is docker file cmd instruction. So friends, so far we have already used cmd instruction in almost all the docker files which we created till now and so you might have got little understanding about the purpose of cmd instruction. But it doesn't matter friends as here in this session we are going to see all the details about the cmd instruction and also we will discuss how cmd instruction is different from docker file run instruction. So friends cmd instruction is one of the way of executing the commands at the container launch time. That is the time at which the docker container is executed or is started using docker run command. And friends, CMD instruction looks very similar to run instruction as both these instructions are used to execute the commands. But friends, the major difference between the CMD instruction and the run instruction is that the CMD instruction is used to execute the commands at container runtime while the run instruction is used to execute the command at the image build time. And friends, the main usage of run instruction is to install the application and software packages inside the docker image while the cmd instruction is mainly used to start the already installed softwares or applications with the help of commands passed to it at container runtime. So for example friends, installing nginx server in the docker image is done as a part of run instruction while running the installed nginx server is done via cmd instruction. Now friends, it is also important to know that passing the command to cmd instruction for their execution at container runtime is equivalent of passing the commands at the end of docker run command. Which simply means that for example, if we write cmd instruction in docker file, for example like this one on the screen, where an echo command is passed to the cmd instruction for its execution and then we run the container using simple docker run command. Then friends, it will give the same result or output as if we run the container from the docker file which does not have the cmd instruction but echo command with same message is passed to the end of the docker run command. So now let us see the same friends with the help of one example. So let us take a very simple docker file to demonstrate this. So friends for this I have already created a folder with name cmd inside g drive of my system and also created a very simple docker file inside this folder. So let us go to the cmd folder in my system. So friends this is the cmd folder which I have created and now let us go inside this folder and also let us open this docker file. And here we can see friends that this docker file is very simple and it contains the cmd instruction as the docker file last instruction. And friends, the purpose of cmd instruction here in this docker file is to execute the echo command at the time when the docker container will be launched from the docker image which will be created using this docker file. So now friends, let us create an image and run the docker container from this docker file. So let us go to the terminal now. And here let us first move to the docker file location which is cd g colon docker files and then cmd and now friends let us build an image using the docker file which is present inside the cmd folder so docker build hyphen t and here let us give the image identification as cmd image 1 and then we need to specify dot here as our docker file is present in the current folder and now friends let us press enter to execute this command and here we can see friends the docker image is getting built. And here we can see that the image got built successfully now. And so now let us run the docker container from this image. So docker run hyphen hyphen name. And here let us give the container name as cmd container 1. And then the image identification which is cmd image 1 in our case. And now let us press enter to execute this command. And here we can see friends that the docker container got executed successfully and we got the message hello welcome to the docker world and this is the same message friends which we passed as an argument to the echo command 
inside the cmd instruction in our docker file so friends with this we have seen one way of executing the commands at container runtime that is by passing the commands as an argument to the cmd instruction now friends let us see another way of doing the same thing that is executing the commands at container runtime but this time friends we will achieve this by passing the executable commands to the end of docker run command so friends for this let us go to the same docker file again and this time let us remove the cmd instruction from this docker file and now let us again build the docker image from this modified docker file so let us go to the terminal again and here now let us give the image identification as cmd image 2 this time and now let us press enter to execute this command and friends with this the docker image with name cmd image 2 got created successfully from this docker file so now let us run the container from this image so let us go to the previous docker run command and here let us change the container name from cmd container 1 to cmd container 2 and also let us change the image name from cmd image 1 to cmd image 2 and now friends this time we have to pass the echo command here in the docker run command as we have removed the cmd instruction from the docker file so echo and then we need to provide the message to display so let us give the message as hello welcome to the docker world and friends with this the docker run command is ready now so let us execute this command by pressing enter key and friends this time also we got the same output as we got before so friends with this we have seen two ways of executing the commands at container launch time one way is through the cmd instruction and the other way is by passing the executable commands at the end of docker run command now friends one important thing to know about the cmd instruction is that executable commands specified in docker run command overrides the cmd instruction in docker file and friends this means that if the command to be executed is specified at both places that is if it is specified in the cmd instruction and also specified in the docker run command then the one which is specified in the docker run command is given the priority for execution so let us see the same friends with the help of demo so let us go to the terminal and here friends if you remember cmd image 1 is the image and cmd container 1 is the container which we created few minutes back with the help of docker file which was having the cmd instruction inside it and here we can see friends this is the message which we got when we ran this container and friends this message came from the echo commands execution which we wrote in the docker file inside the cmd instruction so now friends let us execute one new container from the same cmd image one but this time friends let us pass the echo command also to the docker run command and also let us change the message of this echo command so let us go to the previous docker run command and here let us change the container name from cmd container 1 to cmd container 3 and then the image name will be cmd image 1 and now we need to pass the echo command and here let us pass the new message to the echo command this time so let us give the message as hello i am more important than the command passed to the cmd instruction inside the docker file and now friends the docker run command is ready so let us execute this container and here we can see friends the output of this containers execution displayed the message which we passed to the echo command inside the docker run command and so friends this proves that the command which are given at the end of docker run command gets higher priority or we can say they override the command which are passed to the docker cmd instruction inside the docker file now friends coming to the last and very important point that is there is only one effective cmd instruction per each docker file which means that if more than one cmd instruction are written in one docker file then only the last cmd instruction will be executed and others will be ignored 
or we can say that all the CMD instruction in the docker file will be overridden by the last CMD instruction. So friends with this we have seen the usage of docker file CMD instruction in this session and also we saw how CMD instruction is different from run instruction and then we saw the two ways of executing the commands at container startup. So friends with this now let us stop this session here and let us continue our discussion regarding other docker file instructions in the next session. So see you in the next session till then take care tata bye bye.